Hey guys, welcome back to Mod and Bop Thrift. My name is Tom. I am a stay-at-home dad for five kids, and I am a full-time eBay reseller. I've got lots of things that I would consider bolos for you today. Uh, had a pretty darn good weekend in sales, and the best book sale I've ever had. So if that kind of content seems interesting to you, click the like button, click the subscribe button. Let's get into it. I'm gonna do these kind of in backwards order. I might save the best for last, but the most recent thing that sold was this Super Boy. This allows you to take your Game Boy game, stick it in here, stick this into your Super Nintendo, and play Game Boy games on your Super Nintendo. Now, I sold this naked by itself, tested, working. Uh, I think I paid $15 for it from a fellow picker who was trying to offload some video game stuff, and it, uh, it sold for $30. Five dollars plus shipping and I happen to have this manual and I could probably get six or seven dollars for this manual but I'm gonna throw it in with this one because I'm a nice guy like that I've said it a bunch of times on the channel recently these wood handled spoons this is four dinner forks four salad forks four teaspoons four tablespoons and four uh, butter knives and these are these sold for $45. Now you may remember that I got the bag for $2.19. This is only about half. This was the best part. Everything that I had four of, I threw into a lot and you got five items, four of each, because that makes a good serving set. Um, and then I made some random lots of some other things. Um, basically, I think I'm gonna get about $100 in sales out of that. I'll probably make more, a little more than $50. Uh, on that two dollar and nineteen cent bag of silverware that wood handled silverware from the 70s does Really 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 well those were listed for less than 12 hours 511 tactical now this shirt is really good and really bad 511 tactical has a really good sell-through rate It's gonna sell within 90 days for you most of the time if you buy it right you price it right This is an XL 100% cotton both good things this one has a United States patch which doesn't hurt it but then it has a corporate patch which does kind of hurt it Securitas is a local security company that does for Caterpillar they might be either regional or nationwide but anyway they aren't what everybody is buying this shirt for um, and so that does limit the market some to somebody who's willing to take that patch off or willing to wear it with the patch on it um, I did include Securitas in the description in case somebody need, wanted to buy it as a Securitas uniform. But the uh, this was new with tag. I paid. I want to say I paid like two fifty for it out of the shirts with at Goodwill. But I don't exactly remember. Um, I wouldn't have paid more than five dollars for it uh, with that security patch on it. Uh, I was afraid that it wasn't going to do as well, so I priced it at $17.99 free shipping, and it sold really, really fast. Uh, I just listed that yesterday. Crepe machine, another thing that's going to sell super fast for you. You got to price it right. They're not worth a fortune. This one sold for $30 free shipping because I, if you guys remember the video, I was like, well, I haven't opened it up, and I, you know, but it's in the box, so it's probably good. I opened it up. It's just naked in the box. It's and it's used. And so it's, I cleaned it up a little bit. There's no packing. There should have been cardboard inside here so it doesn't rattle around. There should have been a recipe book and instructions not included. And the box had some damage on it. So I listed it rather than the $35 like new open box price, which I was hoping to get. I listed this at 29 and it sold in a matter of hours. Like this, it maybe sat for two or three days, tops. TaylorMade Golf Club, this is uh, nothing like super special about it, but TaylorMade is a really good brand, and this was $2. It's got the graphite shaft, the grip is in good shape, which doesn't make a whole lot of difference. Uh, people will re-grip them, uh, the good ones anyway, but this has the original grip in good shape. It's a little beat up, I mean, it's got some wear on the face, but... I bought it for $2 when we were in Wisconsin, and it sold for $38 free shipping. Yes, baby. You got a drink? 
I don't always buy 517s because they are skinny jeans that are not necessarily everybody's interested in anymore. 32, 36, these are orange tab, which is an 80s, 90s thing. Um, so these are vintage. They're, they say made in Puerto Rico, quote USA. Like, it's funny because Puerto Rico is USA. So I don't know why they have to make the caveat about it being made in Puerto Rico, which is in the United States. But there you go. These are US made 517s, vintage, uh, 517 vintage Levi's. Uh, they sold for $25 free shipping. This game I picked up for a dollar. I would not pick up Biggest Loser if it were not sealed. Sealed games sell significantly better. Uh, sold this for $7.50 free shipping. Uh, it'll cost me like three bucks to ship. It's probably not necessarily worth my time, but it's it's a sealed. Anytime I find sealed vintage video games, I'm going to pick them up uh, and try to do something with them. Chances are good this sold to an Amazon seller who was going to flip it onto Amazon because it would have sold for $25 on there. But being ungated to sell video games on Amazon is a tricky process and not everybody gets there. Decals. These are decals for your phone or laptop or whatever. I think my wife would put them on a water bottle. They are, there's five of them. They were a dollar a piece at a uh, dollar tree and I picked up two sets. I wouldn't pick this up to sell it for $4, but when I can buy five of them for $5 and sell them for 20, then that's worth trying. And so I did that, those sold and I've got one more set just like it. There's another thing where I sold, where I bought these for a dollar a piece, Brewers Duct Brand, Duck Brand Duct Tape. Uh, and I bought five of them. I bought six of them, but I ended up needing some duct tape and I used one. So I bought five of them and I, uh, sold them for $16.99 plus shipping. And I had them listed for like, like $6 a roll for a long, each shipped for a long time. They didn't sell. And I thought, well, if I can get four dollars a roll plus shipping on all of them then that's kind of the same money and they did sell and i'm glad they did because they've been sitting around for a long time and i was afraid they were never going to sell yeah see here's a i paid 99 cents do you take that sticker off or do you just send it that way i probably there's two of them i'll probably leave it on there this cactus dude children's programming that is no longer on the air and so there's no more toys in the store can do well doesn't always but it's if you recognize a character that's no longer on the air and it was popular and it was if it was disney or pbs pick it up you guys saw the microphone if you didn't i'll link that video below this guy is from sheriff cali i don't remember his name it doesn't really make a lot of difference a disney junior character from a show that was popular probably six or seven years ago i paid a dollar 99 for him sold for 15 dollars shipped Nintendo, Super Nintendos. These are not working, either of them. Uh, they just don't read. And I didn't feel like taking them apart to clean them up when I can get $70 shipped for two of them not working. Um, I didn't have to take them apart to get $35 a piece for them. When you are shipping Nintendo Super Nintendos, if they're this color instead of that color, um, this that the same process that makes them this color makes that plastic brittle so you need to be treat them like glass you really have to wrap them quite a bit because they will bust um if you're set, looking at super nintendos that little thing breaks off inside the power a lot that makes them hard to work on um that can be fixed i've fixed it, it you have to have a donor machine and it sucks to do so if they have that broken out and it's and i'm on the fence that's a deal breaker for me but i uh found a handful of super nintendos that i've had for a long time sitting in a box that i forgot about and i uh, listed these for 70 dollars free shipping and it took like four days for them to sell panasonic tape deck i tested it with tape with um batteries it has a nice battery compartment and i included a cable this isn't the right cord for it. I mean it's 
it works for it, but this is way newer cord than this would have come with originally. Um, it does work, and I was listening to uh, Please Don't Hurt Them Hammer while I was testing this, and uh, it works fine. It sold for, I paid, I paid $3 at an estate sale, sold for $25 free shipping. International is International Harvester. Uh, it's a farm equipment company. The T44E, T444E is a uh, tractor, and this is a hat advertising that tractor. Uh, normally, International Harvester stuff is red, uh, but I picked this up for a buck, and it sold for $15 free shipping. Ba, 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 ba. Dude, the encyclopedia. This is the best book flip I've ever had. I paid 50 cents for it the other day at Goodwill, and I had it listed for $2.19. I sent out a best offer of $1.99, and somebody bought it for full price. So, um, it wasn't the watchers that I sent offers to. And I keep worrying that, like, I found a little smudge on it, and I was like, oh, no. And I uh, now these uh, pages are dog-eared, and I'm like, was it like that before? Let me check the listing. I like selling high-dollar things, but also they stress me out. So I asked on Facebook, a Facebook group that I'm part of, how would you package this thing. This is a $200, $220 paperback book. I could throw it in a poly mailer and ship it my media. That's not what I'm going to do. I'm going to put it in a poly mailer, wrap that poly mailer in bubble wrap, stick it in a box, and send it priority with extra insurance. Some people would add signature confirmation on a uh, so an item this expensive, I don't think that's necessary. So, there you go. That's what a $220 paperback book looks like. I think that's going to do it for today. I do, I am going to end up at Goodwill today, but that'll probably be part of a different video. Thanks for liking, commenting, and subscribing. Um, We'll see you on the next one.